Yeah, and, and that's a fair point, Mark. And if you look at the psyche of the Tennessee fan base, you know, we're almost a full generation removed uh, from from our championship days, the the, the middle to late Fulmer area, uh, the 98 national championship and, and being competitive through the early 2000s. Uh, you know, we're still in what I call the, the – or we're just coming out of – I think Jones is leading uh, the Tennessee program out of uh, the, the decade of, of uh, irrelevancy. Uh, so, so the Tennessee, the psyche of the Tennessee fan base is very, uh, is very shaken right now after uh, the Kiffin Dooley years, uh, and then the, you know the the later Fulmer era, and then the Kiffin Dooley years. Uh, so, so, and that's a and, and fans have a right to be disappointed. Fans have a right to want Jones to be disappointed. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, what I'm saying is you just have to understand that Jones isn't talking to the fan base when he says something like that, and then you know that taps into. Uh, that taps into the historical Tennessee fan psyche. Tennessee, which is a program that's probably a top 10 program all time, certainly you have to make the argument that it's a top 15 program. You, you can't argue that Tennessee is not a top 15 program all time. Um, so Tennessee fans feel like they kind of get disrespected when you talk about historical programs. And then if you look at the SEC, Tennessee has always played second fiddle to Alabama. Tennessee is second in every statistical category to, to Alabama in the SEC. Championships, wins. Uh, everything, bowl wins, bowl appearances. They're, they're number two across the board in the SEC. So for, for Tennessee fans, they have this historical uh, they have this historical desire to, to finally get to the top of the mountain. Uh, they, they had a winning streak against Alabama in the former era. You know, you know the, the, the saying was that Johnny Majors lost his job because he couldn't beat Alabama. Philip, Philip Fulmer lost his job because he couldn't beat Florida. He could beat Alabama, but then he couldn't beat Florida. Uh, so, so they finally felt in that former era that they were getting over the Alabama hump and the conference was theirs for the taking, and then, and then Florida come in and kind of undercut them. So that's kind of the the fan psyche of the Tennessee program. So so here you have Butch Jones uh, who comes in, who's, who's, who's building the program, and you can't deny that he's moving the program forward. You, you have to acknowledge that. Does he have the program where you want it? No. Uh, you know, Even Butch Jones supporters have to acknowledge that. So the detractors have to acknowledge that he's moving the program forward. The supporters have to acknowledge that it's not where it needs to be. Uh, so, so you know, the, the the fan base has this psyche of kind of disrespected nationally, always playing second fiddle to Alabama in the conference, and then Butch Jones come in. Butch Jones, uh, his talking points are always geared toward the recruits and the boosters. So that that just kind of uh, that just kind of needles at the fan base, which already has uh, kind of a uh, kind of an already uh, fractured fan psyche. Uh, to to kind of play uh, psycho to p- kind of find kind kind of play fan psychologist there. Well, I think we have an exercise that we're going to have to wait until next off season uh, to partake in, and, and we could possibly look through the uh, the the status of the elite programs across the country and come up with some level of ranking. Because as soon as you throw out a top ten or top fifteen status, I'm trying to scan conferences to see where I would place Tennessee, but uh, it's just too difficult to to do sitting here with uh, rough estimates on championships and wins and bowl appearances and all the, the rest that you would factor in. And how, mu- how much do you factor in the length of the history versus modern history versus the immediate? Yeah, yeah, I think any objective evaluation puts Tennessee anywhere between 8 and 14 when you talk about historical programs. Anything higher than that, and you're probably a Tennessee homer. Anything lower than that, and you're probably a Tennessee hater. Uh, <laughs> but, but I think the average knowledgeable college football fan would put Tennessee anywhere between 8 and 14 uh, historical program in uh, rank for historical program. All right. That means I'll have to take note here that I need to rank Tennessee between eight and 14 or I lose all respect from Mike Laval in terms of my historical uh, perspective on college football. 